Yeah, hi there. These comments are for A, and I am Michael, the founder, owner, and the materials writer for all of your lessons at the TOEFL Online Course, the Seven Step System to Pass a TOEFL IBT. And let's take a look at your situation. You say, uh, I hope you're doing well. I have rejoined your TOEFL course. Would you please provide me a password to start learning? Uh, I just sent you a password and a username so that you can start uh, or restart your lessons over at my course. So in your situation, uh, you're working toward a pharmacist license here in the USA. You took the TOEFL and you got the following scores. 18 on the reading, 17 on the listening, 27 on the speaking, and 25 points on the writing. So you need, it looks like, three more points on the reading and you need to get at least one more point on the listening, right? So, and you're already pretty good in the speaking and the writing areas. Okay, here's my suggestions. Uh, uh, as you know, once you get, or are, I just sent you use, username and your password, so you now have complete access to all 630 of my lessons. And for you, it's probably a good idea. I would focus more in the vocabulary area and also the listening and the reading portions of my course. That's probably where you want to do most of your practice. And to help you with the reading a little bit, reading is a fairly complicated process. And I probably already told you this before, but I'll, I'll tell you one more time. There's really five things that you can do that will make progress in your reading. And the bottom line is it takes a consistent effort over an extended period of time for you to get some meaningful results in your reading proficiency. So continue to read for about 45 to 60 minutes every day. Now these are not TOEFL materials. Read things like magazines, newspapers, and also books. This is a very good activity. The second thing is to concentrate in the vocabulary part of my online TOEFL course and make sure you learn the vocabulary words in uh, lesson number three, four, five, and six. That's going to be very important. Number three, in the reading part of my course, make sure that you work on improving your reading speed. You want to try to get at least 300 words per minute with about 80% comprehension. This is also very important for your reading. Now number four, in the reading area of my course, you want to become more familiar with the IBT reading question types and the strategies for answering them. And then the last thing in terms of reading, you can either use a TOEFL book if you want to do this, or you can use my course, is start taking some full length IBT reading practice test to help measure your progress. Now of course, <coughs> Excuse me. You have to do the reading practice and the vocabulary study and working on your reading speed. You know, do that for maybe a month or so, and then you can start taking some of these reading practice tests so you can measure your progress. Now, in my online TOEFL course, you will see some full-length IBT practice tests. It's in the eighth section of my course. So if you want to do that or you might want to use your own TOEFL book to do that, but that's going to be very helpful for you with your reading. Now secondly, with the listening area, I'm going to give you two websites that I think are also going to be helpful for you in, in the listening uh, areas. Your listening is really is like reading. is It's kind of low right now. Uh, go to nationalpublicradio.org is called npr.org or you can go to TED Talks. If you type in the um, keywords National Public Radio you will be able to pull up that listening website. If you type in the words TED Talks, two words, you'll be able to find that website. Now if you want to do TV, if you have TV you can do um, News Science History and also documentary programs. That's also going to be very helpful for you with your reading practice. So that would be one su some suggestions there. Now in the case of the reading and the listening, stay in the habit of note taking. Focus on the main and the most important supporting points of those reading and listening passages. 
and then using your notes you can write a summary or you can orally summarize that information if you do that you're practicing the integrated writing and integrated speaking skills so I think if you if you go through and, and continue to do that reading and that listening practice on a day-to-day -day basis and then work uh, in my online TOEFL course in the vocabulary listening and the reading portions of my course uh, you should be able to make some improvements here so I, I, I think it's possible now in terms of your speaking and your writing you're already very proficient in those areas however you you want to continue to practice a little bit so maybe at my website each week you might do maybe one or two reading uh, one or two writing and speaking practice tests just so you can stay current and you can stay uh, in the groove as they say or you can stay in the habit of your speaking and your writing also and you can get some feedback in those areas as well okay anyway thank you very much and uh, thank you for your email and uh, I look forward to having you as a student again and uh, let me know email me whenever you have questions